Hi, I'm Carolina Rodriguez Buitrago, and this is Jacobo. It is important to bring Jacobo today because this is how long I've been in EBO. I started my first EBO session when I was on maternity leave with this little guy, and look how much he has grown. But he, not only he has grown, also I have grown professionally thanks to EBO. He's grown <laughs> very tall, and I've grown in contacts, relations, I've grown in strategies, in so many things that I have discovered thanks to this amazing training offered here. Another thing that I can think of when I think <laughs> on EVO is mentorship. Why? Because all of us have been here because of some mentors. I have to thank Christine Bauer Ramazani, who was the person who first brought me here. I met her here in Bogota at the Centro Colombo Americano when she came to um, do some training for us on technology back in, I don't know, 2007, I guess. And I've known her since then. She told me back in 2015, hey, you're doing flip learning. You kind of like that, right? There is an EVO session starting. And so I think you would be great for doing that session. So I started with that session as a participant. The following year, I was invited to become a moderator. And then the following year, I was invited to become a coordinator. And so I've done my career in EVO. Um, I started out with the flip learning session, co-moderating with Helene Marshall, uh, with back in the day, Jeff Magoto, uh, Khalid. Well, I didn't co-moderate with him. I co-moderated with Kevin Coleman and with John Craney. And then they started moving out and people started coming in. So we have Gabi Gariboto, we have Marta Ramirez, we have Juliana Diaz, Diana Salazar, we have Mike Kent Harris and Aloysia Sanz is here. We have had Birgit Jensen and many more people around. And it's been a great pleasure to grow with the flip learning team. But this year I also joined the SOFLA team with Helene Marshall, Heike Philip, Kazuko Saito, and Heather Rubin. It was a great experience. I moderated both sessions, and it was amazing to see the level of commitment of people, how people want to learn so much, how people want to improve as teachers for their students. I think that is the most inspiring thing that can happen in EVO, and it is that we come here to look for strategies for our students to become better teachers and to grow professionally. Why I love EVO? I love EVO because of the great friends I've been able to make here. For example, Nina Liakos, who I remember dear to my heart because she was a great mentor, but she also became a great friend. The same happened with Helene Marshall. It happened with Christine Bauer Ramazani, with so many people that I have met just through EVO. I also think of the amazing mentorship and hard work of Van Stevens. I admire him very much because uh, he puts his heart and soul into EBO, just the same as Nelly Deutsch. Um, I think there are no better mentors than them because you really feel the passion and you really see how important EBO is for their professional life. Right now, my priority stands with my little kids. So I think I'm going to take a little sabbatical for a couple of years because it was um, quite a ride this year with the pandemic, with um, homeschool and all that. Um, however, I, I think EBO will always stay with me. And I have heard many moderators say they go, but they come back later because they just feel the pull. So, well, I guess that's going to happen to me too. And so I just want to say happy 20th anniversary, EBO. Um, you're doing great. <laughs> you're doing great helping teachers become better teachers, feel like better human beings, and contributing to the world. So thanks to EBO for giving us the opportunity to contribute to a global level. This is amazing. Happy anniversary.